How to form the imperfect tense in Spanish. What is the imperfect tense? The imperfect tense is used to describe what something was like in the past. So in other words, it's a past tense. Structure. To structure this, we simply take a pronoun and a conjugated verb. For example, yo jugaba al baloncesto, meaning I played basketball. You're describing what you used to do. You used to play, so you're describing how you used to play basketball. Conjugating AR verbs. For verbs that end in AR, we have to add the following endings after removing the A and the R from the stem. We add ABA for yo, ABAS for tú o usted, ABA for él o ella, ABAMOS for nosotros o nosotras, ABAIS for vosotros, vosotras o ustedes, and ABAN for ellos o ellas. Conjugating AR verbs. Examples. We're going to now translate he used to sing brilliantly. The pronoun we have to use is el, and the infinitive for the word sing is cantar. We then conjugate this infinitive to get cantaba, and completing the sentence de maravilla. Finishing it off, we get el cantaba de maravilla. Conjugating ER verbs. As with AR verbs, all we have to do is remove the ending ER and then add these following ones to the stem. For yo, we add ia. For tú o usted, we add iais. For él o ella, we add ia. For nosotros o nosotras is iamos. For vosotras, vosotros o ustedes is iais. And for ellos and ellos is ian. Here's an example. We have to translate into the imperfect tense, I used to run quickly. So I take a pronoun, yo. And the infinitive of run is correr. The conjugation is corría. So, completing the sentence, we have rápidamente. Finally, we have the total sentence, which is yo corría rápidamente. Conjugating IR verbs. As with ER verbs, it's exactly the same process. All we have to do is add ia for yo, ias for tú o usted, ia for él and ella, iamos for nosotros o nosotras, Iais for vosotros, vosotras, and ustedes, and ian for ellos and ellas. So here we'll run through an example. We have to translate we, the masculine form, used to live in California. We take the pronoun nosotros, and the infinitive for the word to live is vivir. When conjugating this verb, we get vivíamos, and completing the sentence is en California. So, the complete sentence is Nosotros vivíamos en California. Now we're going to have a look at the imperfect continuous. To express an ongoing past action, you have to use the imperfect continuous. So, this is how we form it. We take the imperfect of estar and add the gerund. Now, the gerund is the form of the verb which ends in either ando or yendo. For example, Yo estaba viendo la tele. I was watching the TV. Because this is an ongoing action, we have to have estaba, which is the present, which is the imperfect of estar for yo pronoun, and add ver, conjugate it and add it in yendo, on the end of the stem, which is just a v, and then we have our whole sentence. Yo estaba viendo la tele. Here I have some questions. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and have a go at attempting them, and then whenever you're ready, you can hit play and see the answers. Okay, here you have the answers. If you get all of them right, congratulations. However, if you did not, be sure to go over the video once more or check your notes so you can get them right next time. This has been the end of the lesson. Thank you so much for watching as always. And if you want to learn the list of irregular verbs and check those out at www.revisealevel.co.uk. Thank you and I'll see you then.